Hello students, this video is going to explain the differences between the check marks that you will see in the Buzz Learning Management System for your online courses. The first check mark that we're going to look at and understand is the check mark that appears in the activities view of your course. So when you click on the big course card and come into your course, this is what's called the activities view. We know we're in the activities view because there is a, a it's underlined. If we scroll down and we open these modules, this green check mark refers to the fact that you have interacted with it, you've clicked on it, you've spent some time inside this activity. It does not correspond with the work that you have actually submitted. In order to see that check mark view, if we come into our grade book for this course right here over in the, the right hand side and we click on it, this green check mark means that it's been completed. We can also see the date it was submitted. We can see the date that it was due and we can see the score that we earned on it. <clears throat> This little black piece of paper means that there's a submission there, but it has not been graded yet. See how when you hover over it, it says completed, submitted. So the best way to know what you have and have not submitted is by coming into the grade book here to see what your score is. If you have feedback on an item, it shows up as this little thought bubble. If we click on that item, we can see that it has the feedback right here. How long you spent on it, your grade, what the questions were, all of those sorts of things. The other place that you can, that there's a green check mark that appears is in the to-do list. The to-do list is a fantastic way to organize yourself and know what you still need to do. If you have submitted something, there's a score of any kind sitting there. You'll get this green check mark, and that means that it's completed. This backwards arrow means that you've been given a retry, and again, the thought bubble means that it has feedback. So for instance, this is an item that my son, whose course we're viewing, he has submitted this below passing score. If I click on that, we can see that there is actually no submission. The submission is tied to the zero. And so that's why I say the best way to know what you have and have not earned scores for is to come into the gradebook view. In the gradebook view again, what is the status, when was it submitted, and what is the score? Do I have feedback? Click and read your feedback. So operate off of the to-do list. That's going to show you everything that you need to do and everything you've been given a retry on. And don't forget to reach out if you need any support with anything.